Francis um, read a book called The Sun and the Serpent, and I think that's where it all really started. And really, this is what we venture into, really doing a journey, a personal journey for ourselves about what was this balance between the male and female, these points where they meet, these two lines. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't say no to this. I didn't really know anything about ley lines. I didn't know whether I believe in ley lines or any of these energy lines in the earth. But it didn't matter. And this is, it was really new to me because I'm uh, trained as an engineer, working in a very corporate world, as a very male environment. I needed to know everything, every detail about everything. But at this point, it was different. I, I was venturing to something new, something completely new for me. And I, I just couldn't say no. I was ready for it. My initial uh, part was really, yes, to be there to record the journey of Frances through this pilgrimage from one node to another. Her connection to these earth energies, her response to just connecting to this, each of these nodes. And, um, and in fact, somehow the, the journey involved me in a way that I didn't expect. It was really a whole transformation for me and I think for both of us and it was also very much it wasn't just Francis connecting to the earth and Julius, it was really the connection between the two of us, the dance between the two of us and also the dance I was documenting which was Francis dance with the earth and lines. But we both, I mean, we both were novices. I was a novice as a photographer, photographing a dance, really. And Francis was a novice as a model. Being photographed, being seen, doing what she loved to be doing. And, and yeah, she, she was going in a meditation, the meditation of the dance. And I was going into the meditation of really capturing what I was seeing, yeah? And there was no judgment. Another side, she wasn't judging what I was doing as a photographer, I wasn't judging what she was doing. And I think that was the, the magic, really, that made it work. In, it's, it almost felt to me like I was dowsing with my body, but it's not like I had a sudden jolt of energy or shock, it was just like, Definitely we were in a different landscape that was not busy modern world and definitely we were in a more sensitive, connected place with ourselves and each other in the nature. Those things are definite. And then something specific would happen at each node that we took to be our relationship with that node and not like maybe somebody would find something similar there but maybe somebody else would find something different there. And really the, this book, The Divine Dance in the Sacred Landscape of Britain, is the result of this journey. It's really... And I kept a journal along the way, so the words in the book are taken from, from my journal. My journal was many, many, many more words than this, but we kind of took out the essence of the things. I had a, this kind of vision that the book will be mainly the photographs and really words enough to make it very poetic rather than just more description which was the kind of book that we were inspired by the sun and serpent was very lengthy in descriptions not so much rich in photography and we wanted something more artistic so just being the photography and really enough words to tell the story but in a kind of poetic way. Um, yeah.